Hey guys, so I know my hair is looking all kinds of crazy. Please forgive that. And I have no makeup on, but there's a reason for that. I have just a tiny haul that I want to share with you guys. And then I'm going to be putting a lot of these products on. But the one reason I don't have no makeup on is after the, with this haul, there's going to be a review. And with that review, I'm going to be using the um, gym tool, the gym cosmetic brushes line. And someone wanted me to review that. So that's the reason for the hair and the makeup so sorry about that so anyway let's get started I got a few of these items from Walgreens and then I got a couple from Walmart so alright so from Walmart I got this hard candy goodness concealer palette sorry about the lighting um, one of my subscribers suggested this because I, I try all different kinds of concealer because of these bags and blotches and all that good stuff so it's got a pink a yellow a green and different skin tones so I'm gonna be trying that out today I'll let you guys know what I think and it comes with this little which travel it's attached this little travel brush which of course I'm probably like never be using it's way too tiny for anything I'm ever gonna use it for and also from hard candy I got this at Walmart too it is a new little concealer and highlighter so it is undercover from Hard Candy. This is the concealer tip. You see it there on my finger. And then the tip the concealer is attached to the end of the tube. And you open the tube and there's the highlighter. So that is pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I'll probably maybe use like the highlighter today. And I'll use the concealer from the palette. So those are the things that I got from Walmart. And from Walgreens, I got, you guys know I'm a crazy hot mess with trying to put on some eyelashes, so I go for, I'm going to try this mascara. This is the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. It's one of those that's supposed to like add on the tubes. It's from L'Oreal. And it's, it's the gold tube, and it's the blackest black. And so, yeah, maybe, maybe that'll help. I mean, my lashes aren't really short, but they're too short for me. I mean, I'm just, see, and I'm just not happy about that. I like to get a little bit more pop. So I'm going to try that today, so I'll let you know on that. And also, I got, it's from L'Oreal. It is Telescopic Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black, number 835. So I'm going to give that a shot today as well. And they had this on sale. I've never used this brand and I wasn't quite sure what tone I would need, so I got two different ones. This is a clear comp complexion makeup um, foundation. The brand is Alme. And um, after the discounts and everything, I think it was like two bucks a bottle, so I had to try that. I mean, two bucks, really? So I got one in ivory and one in beige because I have a quite fair skin tone. And you see if you can tell the difference. Yeah, there's the colors on the bottom, the ivory and the beige. So I'll probably try one of those today too as well. So if you would like to see my review of the e.l.f. brushes from the Gem line, Gem Collection, and the review from these products, you guys just keep watching. Bye. Okay guys, so I am ready to finish the video. Um, I'm going to do a quick review on the products that I just showed you guys. I got some good ones and some that I'm really not so in love with. So let me straighten up my camera here and let's get started. So my first review is going to be on the mascara, the one, the, ah, the false lashes. It's supposed to have the fibers that build up your lashes. Yeah, I am officially in love with this. This is probably going to be my new all-time love. Probably won't even use another mascara ever again. Let me get a little closer so maybe you can see. Look at my lashes. I mean, wow. You know, that really looks like false lashes. And I swear, guys, it's not. That is all me. So I am definitely going to say we got two thumbs up on the L'Oreal Volum Voluminous False Lashes. Love it, love it, love it. Going to be keeping this around. And since it does have the, the fibers that create the lashes on top, I didn't use this on my bottom lashes. On my bottom lashes, I used my Lash Stiletto. This is for a nice slim lower lash okay next up 
Okay, on my concealers, I use a little bit of both. That way I can tell you a little bit about both of them. So first of all, on the, the Hard Candy palette, I'm... You can get it back where you can kind of see the colors. This is the, uh, the green here. You can't really tell with the lighting. Sorry about that. But I did use the green on my red patches here and here. It had pretty good coverage, but it seemed kind of thin. So I don't really know as to how long that's going to last. So I'll let you know. With the yellow, as you know, the yellow is to cover up like you know, blue spots, little veins, maybe any kind of bags that might have a somewhat similar color to like a bruise or what have you. So anyway, my bags right here in the corner, sometimes they have like a little blue tint to it, so I did try the yellow. It, it does seem thicker, so and it, and it applied quite nicely. It seems like it might stick around a little longer. And so yeah, that's the only two I did use out of this palette. As I get to use the rest of them, I will let you guys know. Um, I also did use some of this. This is the um, the undercover concealer with the highlighter. And you know what? I completely forgot to use any of the highlight. Duh. I did use some of the concealer. It's quite thick. I tried to apply it this way on one eye, and then I used a brush on the other. I find that the brush is better. It applies really good, and it is kind of thick, like I said, and so it's probably going to have some good coverage. Let me squeeze out some of the highlighter here. Ooh! Oops. <laughs> anyway, we definitely didn't want to do that much. Let me get a tissue here. So I am going to put some of the highlighter underneath my eye here, and let's check it out since I just totally blanked out. I forgot. So I'm just going to dab a little underneath. It's really thin. It's kind of like a lotion feel to it. So as you can tell, I'm using different fingers here because I did add too much. But it does look like it's going to help catch the light. So I wiped off most of that on this tissue and barely used any at all for my eyes. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, so as far as that concealer and the highlighter, we're going to give it a thumbs up as well. And this one for the green one and for the yellow one, also a thumbs up. Except for the fact that, as I said, the green uh, kind of goes on a little thin. So, I'll let you know about that. Next product was the L'Oreal Carbon Black. There you go, my camera focus. Carbon Black Telescopic Eyeliner. Love it, love it, love it. It is, it was, it's like the blackest of black. Has a nice tip on it. Um, it's not a brush, it's just like the hard tapered tip. It dries fairly quick, but not too quick to where if you make a boo-boo you can get to it. Okay. So, let's see if I can get in there and show you. See how black, I mean, and I always make sure I fill in my lash line so you don't have them little white gaps. So, as far as the eyeliner, also two thumbs up on that. Um, what's next? The Almay Foundation. Okay. Don't love it. I don't love it. I really dislike it. I almost hate it, in fact. Um, it is super, super thin. It good. Because I always I pour my foundation on my hand here, and I use my stippling brush, as you know. And yeah, it kind of just like poured out everywhere. First of all, the color is good, um, but my second bad thing, it creases. Um, and I didn't fix it because I did want you to be able to see this. I hope you can see it. But in a mirror, I can see it. I have got foundation like in all my creases, and, and I don't like that. I used my primer. Just like I would any other time, I didn't do any steps differently. So I'm going to say it has to be the foundation. So the foundation, no. Definitely got to give it a thumbs down. Don't recommend it. Would not buy it again if it was just a dollar a bottle. Um, I might keep a bottle around for emergencies in case I happen to drop mine and got to run to the store or whatever. But no, don't like it. Okay, and my last review is on the gem collection brushes from elf and if you guys oops excuse me <laughs> sorry about that my typical clumsy self if you guys didn't see the um, video on these brushes this is what they look like they're super super cute um, I didn't get the entire set I got five brushes the tweezers and the eyelash curler 
I mean, it's really cute. I use the eyelash curler just because, but it, it's, it's really, really cute. And I did manage to use all the brushes. So, as an overall, they totally get a thumbs up. They really, really do. I use these two for my shadows. I use this one for my lid and this one for my crease. And then I kind of got that shadow off and then I used it as a blender. Um, and then powder brush and then I use this for my blush. Now, they did great, 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 great. This one is just like super, super soft. I love these brushes. I truly, truly do. Um, not only are they absolutely adorable, they have them in pink, purple, gray, I think, and something else, but these are gorgeous. And also, I noticed that, because I know it has to do with the fibers and the brushes, I used the Naked Palette for my eyes today, and, um... Normally, you have some fallout with the with some of the shimmer colors. And with the bristles in these brush girls, I had no fallout from the Naked Palette. And if you know anything about it, I used the Sidecar and the Hustle. The Sidecar is here. I mean, you can even tell on camera, it has a lot of shimmer. And here is the Hustle. And then I used the Virgin just as an underbrow cover. And I had no fallout. The first time I ever used the sidecar, I used a Coastal Scents brush. And I had a ton of fallout all over my cheeks. I was just covered. But I didn't use a fan brush or nothing. Look, there's no, no fallout. And so these brushes here are what did it for me. So for the e.l.f. brushes gem collection, we definitely get a two thumbs up. Okay, I don't want to make this a long, drawn-out video, so I am going to say, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the box. If you haven't subscribed, it's right there. Please do. It'd be wonderful. And thanks, you guys, so much for watching. And to my subbies out there, you are amazing. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.